So today we're talking about how to start your home bakery business and I've broken it down to really simple steps for you. First thing you want to do is make sure you can even sell in your state. Just do a quick search on Google Cottage Laws, Ohio, or wherever you are, or go to this video. I'll put a link in the description. I showed you how to check if you can even sell in your state. You want to do that first, just so you don't do all of this to find later that you can't even sell legally. So second thing you want to do is before you start with all the business stuff, you want to make sure that you actually have a good product that you can sell. So take samples out to your friends, your family, everyone you know, try to get honest feedback. And if you have a good product already, use this time to get reviews that you can eventually put on your website or on your social media accounts. So step three, figure out who your ideal customer is. And when I say ideal customer, I don't necessarily mean who you want ideally to be your customer. I mean, who is going to actually buy your goods and what characteristics do they have? Where are they hanging out? What are they buying now? What kind of things do they like? Find out everything you can about them and start to get in that mindset while you're creating your brand, your logo, your website to cater to them. So the next thing you want to do is come up with a business name. Keep it simple. Keep the spelling really easy. Try not to do anything where you're using like a special spelling that people might not get when they hear it. Keep it easy to remember so people can tell other people about it when they're talking about your product. Then you're going to want to register your business name. Some states require you to do this. Others don't. But if you want to get like a banking account for your business, usually they need you to register your business in this way. What I did at first is I just did a doing business as, which means I'm Michelle doing business as Michelle's macarons. It's a simple process. And then you can set up a bank account in your business name. Step six, once you know this is something I want to do, I, I want to start selling, I've got good feedback and I know that my product is going to sell, then you can start getting into if you want to be a sole proprietor, if you want to do LLC, do you need insurance? Now is the time to start thinking about that now that you know this is something I want to do. Most people start as a sole proprietor and then once they're more serious about it, then they'll go to LLC. You're going to need to talk to your lawyer and figure out what to do in your individual situation. So step seven is you want to get your packaging figured out, but don't stress too much about this because really this part doesn't matter as much. You just want to make sure you have a good product and you're finding your audience. So if you are using packaging that you get at the local craft store for now, that's fine. You're going to want to buy in bulk as soon as possible, but don't stress too much on that. Don't use this as an excuse to not start selling because you don't have the right packaging, because this is something that will evolve as you grow and as you figure out better options for your business. Try to find some good cheap packaging you can use to get your product out there. Then you want to figure out your prices and you want to be realistic about this and not have the mindset of I love doing this. I'm baking in my kitchen. I don't need to charge much. If this is something you want to do long term, you can't have that mindset because you'll burn out very quickly charging such a small amount when you're gonna be working so hard. I think I'm gonna do a separate video about pricing, but you wanna make sure you've got all of your expenses covered and labor so you can pay yourself and a profit markup so you can put that back into your business to grow your business. So you wanna be really realistic at first and you don't want to, ideally, you don't wanna start with a low price and attract those low price customers. You wanna make sure that you establish, this is what I charge now, this is a high value product and the prices are gonna reflect that. Period. So now you need a way for your customers to place an order. You can do a website. I recommend a website, just a simple one, but I don't want you to procrastinate opening your business because you're spending so much time on your website. So even if it's just an order form or something really simple like that, that's fine when you're getting started. And then eventually you can build on and put that website up. So the next step is you need to go wherever your customers already are instead of getting them to come to you. So whether that is farmer's markets, doing pop-ups at stores you know they love, or wineries where they're gonna be, going to those locations instead of trying to get them to come to you at first. So if you need help with this, if this all sounds very overwhelming, I have a program called the Home Bakery Blueprint where you work with me for 12 months to grow and expand your home bakery business. So if that sounds like something you need, go to the link in the description and there's some more information there. Okay, love you, bye.